racism. Um, <laughs> okay, the no, harassment. I, love, I like I like how the, you know everything's close together, like a mall and stuff, like the places you want to go. Mm -hmm. It's closer over here. Things is closer. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. Uh, and that I don't, can't really you like the racism? I love the racism, the, the harassment I get every day. I love watching these crackheads and gang prostitutes gang walking alley. around everywhere. No, Why man, do you love that? No, no, I'm not for real, man. I'm just saying okay. there's there's nothing to love in Aurora, okay. Colorado. Aurora, Colorado is they try to turn it and flip it to a racist place, but it flipped on them because they they people right over here doing the same shit just like we is. Exactly. So, okay. Okay. What's your name? My name is Cece. Cece, you're a pretty observant person. Yeah. You know I mean? How old are you, Cass? I'm 18. 18? Because yeah. that is yeah. very... Where'd active. you go to school? Um, I never graduated school. I went to the last school I went to was Gateway. Okay. I dropped out. So you went through Aurora Public Schools? I went through, yeah, we uh, I went through okay. South High School from, from freshman year to, to sophomore year. From sophomore year, I went to Gateway. I dropped out. So what, what do you think... Did you ever have a teacher that encouraged you to stay in yes. school? Yes, I did. When I was going to South High School, I had a teacher that um, he used to stand out above all the other teachers. His name was Mr. Dawkins, and um, we got a new Mr. principal. Seriously, we had a, we got a new principal, and he was white, and he didn't like the teacher standing on the tables, knowing that I was in just getting there by like, oh, that teacher's tight and stuff, you yeah. know? Yeah. Was he? We ended up getting fired for that. We yeah. So the teacher was black, yeah, he was black. and he was, he was like an encourager, and yeah. he reached you at your, he met you at your need to motivate you, and, and they, that wasn't acceptable with the system. Did you have any other black teachers when you I were going not. through APS? I did not. No. Did you have any? Oh, actually, yeah, I did. I had a, I had a, I had a gym teacher. Uh, I, I had, had a gym Spanish teacher. teacher that I had was a black. science teacher. I had a science teacher. His name was Mr. Wright. And he was, uh, yeah, Mr. Wright. He was even teaching science, I remember. Yeah, he was. Foundation and what Are school you did you go to? I went to Gateway as well. Okay. Most most of the rural public schools. What are related? Like there? West over here, West. Uh huh. Or yeah, West Middle School. And what do you think about the education you got? Do you feel like it prepared you for life? No. How old are you? Because you know I know that, that I have failed most of their grades, but then you know they just passed me like I guess because I don't have all my credits right now. And when I was in middle school, I had failed all three grades, but they had kept you know letting me pass. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. You know what I think's messed up about Aurora schools. And it, it caught back up with me when I went in back into high school. I uh, I grew up I grew up pretty much in Aurora my whole life. And shit, but, you know I grew up when I was uh, living out here in Aurora. There wasn't a hospital. There was none of that shit. All this was filled and all this, but um, yeah, boys. What's the god? So the thing I don't like about Aurora is you know me. I'm kind of on my own and stuff like that. Um, when I was 16, I made a bad choice of dropping out of school. Every year, I've been trying to get into school. And now I'm 18. I went to Aurora Public Schools to apply. I went to the little office over there. They told me to go to Emily Griffin. They said, get your GED. I said, no, I'm a high school diploma. They told me that there's no point. They can't put me back in school. I didn't miss too much. I'm 18 now. I got to go to Emily Griffin. They gave me some online classes to call. I called them up. They couldn't. They said, I got to buy a computer, stuff like that. I'm just, you know. Right, that's not really realistic. Exactly, I would have, you know, I made that stupid, but ch I made that stupid choice, and I'm trying to fix it, and I realize how stupid it is, you know, and they won't let me fix it. So, have you guys found like any resources for Reese's teens who are I in have, school? I found like online schools. I went to the online school at Life Skills, but there's nothing like out here really in Aurora that you know do that for free. We can go to school and you know get on the computer. Right, right. I that's why I, I just moved from up here, even though my grandma must stay over here. I, I have moved all the way back to Denver, from the south side of Denver, to find another school, all my school. So what would you guys like to see? If you had resources, if you were talking to somebody who had resources to really change Aurora for the better, you know, for I kids would, going to school, for kids who are... I'd like to see some teachers that would actually care and try to help students, you know, just because one student is uh, in the back they don't pay no attention to him, or how he dressed, they don't pay no attention to him, you know, and those could be the kids that's really struggling, you know, and that's how it was for me in school and stuff, you know. Do you think we need, like, some teen programs after school? Yeah, at least some more, at least some I more, mean, see, we I do, really we do, but, but not, I mean, this I mean, area, you gotta uh -huh. think about this area that we are, where we live in right here, they pretty much 
through everybody over here. Look around you. You see Afghanistan. You see Chinese people. You they see don't have school buses no more. They don't have, like, you go to that middle school over there, there's no school buses because of the, I don't know, I guess the crime or whatever. I guess they actually would rather have people who live right, right by the school to walk in that area. They don't want people walking around because like, I, mean, I guess look, the crime it, this is This is what bad. I'm talking about right here. Look, these dudes right here yelling, cussing, fighting and stuff. We just got, we got, we got just this chaos. We got this going on every single day. Younger, they didn't throw us in over here. All right. But I'd like to talk to y'all some more.